Tony Vertoli, Constellation Brands, Sonoma County. My top three use cases for 2015 were being able to track changes somewhat real time on a weekly basis and seeing that happen and being able to monitor that you know usually it was something that i already knew was happening like a canopy pass or floor management pass mowing pass or suckering pass but it was still good to be able to see that it changed your imagery in this way and i think that's kind of the big picture of the whole thing right is being able to see specific management practices and the, the effect that they have on the imagery aka the vines that would probably Probably be like number one. Number two would be to scout for vigorous areas. A uh, vigorous area could be the first place you go to to look for powdery mildew. There's less sunlight and less airflow, and they just powdery mildew just does really well. I will look at my imagery and I'll make sure that I know where that is. I might count rows to make sure that I know approximately which row I wanna go down. And then I'll head out to that spot. I've taken the imagery with me before on my cell phone and that's pretty useful. Uh, you just gotta remember to download it before you head out of the office. Obviously, if you're if you're just sampling one site per block to get a picture of, of a much larger acreage, then you want to pick something that's the most representative for that whole block or for that vineyard. If I add, was adding a leaf water potential reading site, or for example, when we put in soil moisture probes this last year, um, we put in five new soil moisture probes and I wanted uh, an area that was representative of the whole block so I could look at imagery throughout the entire year and I could find an area that was pretty representative for what you saw throughout the season in the block and send it to the guy that was going to install the probes all without having to get out of my chair. It makes me feel powerful. Honestly, like it, it, it provides a lot of information you know, there's a certain aspect of accountability in it too. Like you can see where work's been done and where work needs to be done. And if we did X, Y, and Z management practices and got an increase in either vigor or uniformity, then it's accountability to those management practices. I can go into development planning meetings with a little bit more confidence because I know what I'm talking about that much more.